Hey there, YouTubers. On today's video, we are going to be reviewing some LED uh, bulbs for automotive. Uh, Last Fit, they sent me a bunch of bulbs for me to try. So I'm going to try them out and I'm going to give you guys my honest review. Um, there are many bulbs out on Amazon, on eBay. So many names, so many brands. Some of them last three days, some of them last a while. So it's very easy to look at a price tag and make your choice. But at the end of the day, you got to look for stuff that's decent quality so we're going to put these in and see how they uh how easy they go in if they fit good and see if they're quality or not so let's go all right so these are the bulbs that uh last fit sent me uh before we begin i am not being paid by this company to do this review they just sent me the bulbs and they said hey can you do a review on your uh on your channel so that's what i'm doing as you can see here, they do come with a one-year warranty, which is awesome. A lot of the bulbs that you buy for cheap on eBay or Amazon, it's basically a taillight warranty. As soon as you see your taillights go, driving away, warranty is gone. So they don't even have a warranty, honestly. So these seem to be decent. They seem to be built decent, but it's very hard to tell like, oh, wow, this is a quality product just by looking at it. It all comes down to the LED chip. Um, you can buy bulbs that look just as pretty for nine dollars and then they last a month or two and they start flickering usually when led bulbs are starting to go bad they'll start to flicker so when, if you buy cheap bulbs and you see that they start to flicker here and there they're basically on, on their way out just order another set but these here look quality as you can see here it looks cool the spades are pretty decently thick on them compared to your regular uh cheap bulbs these are all can bus bulbs so they're not going to trigger any lights on your dash uh like some audis bmws do when you have a bulb out they'll tell you that the bulb's out um but if you put regular cheap leds in them they're like not can bus then they uh, basically show up on the dash hey you have a bulb out when you really don't so these cancel all that out so you don't have to worry about it some of these are actually uh, not even polarized. So LED usually is, it has polarity. If you put the bulb in one way and it doesn't light up, you turn it 180 um, because it only works one way. But some of the last fit bulbs, actually they, when they were made, they made it so it works either way, which is kind of cool. So um, we're going to start with the reverse light and the play lights on the Miata, and then we'll move on to the Audi S4 and do these. So let's go. All right, here we have the VA Miata. We pulled it out. Show you guys here in case you guys haven't seen it. It's been raining a lot here. So she fired right up after six, seven months after just sitting, winterized. It's awesome. We'll go over to the back and we'll put the bulbs on. As you guys saw it on my previous videos, um, I put a trunk popper on here. So when I hit the trunk, it just pops right up. So as you can see, I already started putting the bulbs in. I got one here. The other one's already in. You basically just put a little flathead screwdriver here and you pop the lens out. Um, let's see if these work reverse to polarity or not. All right, so I just tried it and they do. So you don't have to worry about putting them in the right way. Whatever way you put them in, they will work. So I'm gonna put these back on the car and then we're gonna do the reverse lights. All right, to take the tail light out, you need to remove the two 10 millimeter head nuts, one here, one here, and the little uh, screw that's up here. Uh, in order to change any of the bulbs on the tail light, the tail light has to pop out. All right, so I have the car in reverse. I'm gonna go in there and turn the key on. That way uh, the bulbs will turn on and then I'll, I'll change it out and see if the these bulbs are also, it don't matter which way you put them or not. As you can see, they're boring yellow. So we'll pop these out. So one way they work and the other way they work too. So it don't really matter nowadays with this brand, uh, which way you put it, which is awesome. And look at that, looks way nicer.
All right. That looks so much better. It's not even funny. So we got nice bright lights there. Bright lights there. That looks awesome. So now we're going to move on to the Audi S4. All right. So I did not realize that the Audi already comes with uh, LED plate lights factory. I haven't had this car for long, so I'm not 100% on all of its features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my 21 f-150 it's the same bulb as you can see so i'm gonna put it on my truck because i know um i need it they still have uh, the yellow ones as you can see here i already have reverse so let's uh, put them on there and uh at least it'll go to use all right let's hit the unlock button and sure enough they work so that's awesome that i made to fit this car all right, for the S4, um, reverse light and the trunk light up here, you're going to have to open up both compartments. This side here, it'll be a nut, 10 millimeter head nut inside this hole. And then this uh, plastic plug here. I don't know why, so there you go. Uh, this here to take it off, they're probably, probably going to be very tight. You put a screwdriver here and you help that. You keep turning it until it's loose enough for you to want to do it by hand. They're pretty tight. It's basically just a boat. Then the tail light should come right out. As you can see, we have them boring yellow lights. I don't know why this car came with yellow lights. It came with LED play lights, but whatever. And we're gonna change that to some nice white ones. It's okay to mess up. There we are. This one here. Put it back in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, either dielectric grease or even regular grease here. Because when that goes in there, this was kind of tough to pull it out. That way in the future, it'll come right out. This is just a little rubber grommet. So I suggest some something petroleum three, like Silk Glide or Super Lube or something like that. All right, for the trunk light, it's up here. Put a little flathead screwdriver on the right side, pop that right out. It'll come out. There's a little black cover that covers that. So you gotta pop that out. Then you're gonna pop your bulb right in. You gotta make sure that it's somewhat centered so it doesn't touch like the little resistors and stuff because this is a kind of a weird setup to hold the bulb, but it does stay on there and it does. It, it's pretty tight. And then uh, just pop it back on and uh, that should be good. Uh, you will only use one, so I'll have a spare one. All right, as you can see, nice and bright. Put it back up and you're good to go. All right, let's see what they look like. I'm gonna turn the key on. It's already in reverse. I just gotta turn the key on. Oh yeah, much brighter. It's it's daylight, so you can't really tell in the video, but it's like so freaking bright. Really bright. Awesome. That looks so much better already. All right, so we just put the bulbs in. They're wicked bright. So I would 100% recommend them. 
now people are asking, how would you recommend them if, if you just ran it for 30 seconds? Well, I've been running Last Fit on all my cars for years. This is actually their old packaging from like years ago. So my Genesis Coupe had all the bulbs, Last Fit. I've bought so many brands from cheap to like decent, and they were all trash. I hate to even say it. Um, Last Fit was the only one that the bulbs last a year, two years, three years, like it's just crazy how long they last. I haven't had a single last fit bulb fail on me. Now that doesn't mean that's not gonna happen. I mean, it's we're we're not living in a perfect world, but for the price, 100% get last fit. Um, way better quality than any other Amazon, eBay bulb you're gonna buy. I know when you see the price tag of 40, 50, even 60, 70 dollars, like the headlights on my F-150 are all last fit LED. Uh, the reverse lights are LED. Basically, all my vehicles have last fit. And I am not just saying that just because the company sent me these bulbs to reveal. I've been running them for years before last fit even uh, asked me to reveal the bulbs. So I actually have experience with them. Unlike some other reviews of somebody who just used them for the first time, I've actually been using it for over five years. So haven't had any issues. I will only buy this brand unless another new brand comes up. Even then, I mean, you, you know what they say, when you find something that works, stick to it. This is it. So if you guys want to buy um, these bulbs or any bulbs for your cars, I do have a 20% off coupon that they offered me to pass it on to you guys. And that's going to be on the screen right now. If you guys uh, just go on their website and put that code in, it'll give you 20% off the whole order. And they have uh, jump packs. They have mats for your car, mats for your truck, floor mats. So go over there, fill up your car, 20% off. It's a good amount of change nowadays. So, but yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.